Randall Shepard has been the longest serving Chief Justice in Indiana Supreme Court history. It's a role he assumed in 1987, two years after being appointed to the state's highest court. There you go. Joe Kernan spent 25 years in city and state government, including 16 months as Indiana's 48th governor. Today, his many roles in his hometown of South Bend include president of the Class A baseball franchise. How you doing? The Silver Hawks. Good luck tonight. The two worked closely together following Governor Frank O'Bannon's fatal stroke in 2003. They were reunited in 2007 to co-chair the Indiana Commission on Local Government Reform. Their leadership and the work of that seven-person group have set the stage for a more efficient and effective local government structure for the 21st century. Shepard, an Evansville native, is a longtime champion of court reform and emphasizes the system's ties with the other branches of government. Even he was surprised at some of the local government inefficiencies discovered in the Commission's work. How well we do at delivering services like uh, law enforcement and fire protection and education is crucial to Indiana's future. We live in a time when Indiana doesn't just compete with Ohio and Illinois and Michigan, much less California and New York. We, we, we compete with, with Germany and China and uh, Thailand. And we have to be capable of creating an economic environment here that will be globally competitive. Many have been actively touting the Commission's recommendations since the report's release. The feedback, while not unanimous, has been extremely positive. It's been very heartening. Most of the uh, people who carefully uh, study, examine um, governmental activity and uh, the present problems and opportunities of our state have been very complimentary. If anything, most of them have said, right on, uh, it's about time, um, uh, let's get on with it. During the Commission's work, it collected public input through forums, interviews, email comments, and more. Kernan had the added advantage of 13 years of first-hand experience, seeing some of the frustrations and difficulties. I think a lot of that uh, has to do with the structure uh, of local government. Uh, it's not so much the people that are there, uh, it, it is the, the, the structure that really is stifling for creativity, it's confusing for citizens, um, it doesn't work as well as it should by any stretch of the imagination. Kernan, keeping busier than he imagined with the Silverhawks, is also involved with other activities, including teaching a class at Notre Dame, where he played baseball. He brings the same passion to his front office role as he did his public sector leadership. How you doing? Both Shepard and Kernan emphasize that all the commission members worked well together. An early straw vote revealed agreement on many of the key issues, and it was determined that the final recommendations would fall into the category of big and bold. We early on decided that we were going to go big or stay home that uh, this might be, uh, certainly for us, uh, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, uh, and recognized that it had really been 150 years since local government had been tinkered with. And we figured that if you're only gonna look at something every 150 years or so, you probably ought to come up with some recommendations that were substantial. I remember. The work of this commission and the leadership of Shepard and Kernan cannot be underestimated. We're at a, a historic crossroads point where we have the opportunity, we have some momentum through the work of the Kernan Shepherd Commission to make some major structural changes to move our structure of local government into the 21st century. Congratulations and thank you, Joe Kernan and Randall Shepherd, our 2008 Indiana Government Leaders of the Year.